Good evening, hired goons. How's it going tonight, guys? Welcome to Operation C. Bugatti, brought to you tonight by Cour Volant. I believe the first mission that Cour Volant has come up with. So here we go. We're going to do a brief rundown. Uh, a couple of things a little bit different. You'll notice this is not live. This is going to take a little bit of the stress of trying to interact with the stream and get all this going and interact with the stream and bounce back and forth. So this will be a little bit different than what we're normally used to. Uh, Courvelant's mission was rather open, which is cool, because as long as I have the intent, I can make sure the mission looks like it should. Or at least we can make it look more interesting that way. Or I can try. Um, as we left off, and it's been a while, I appreciate your patience with the break. Uh, did a little vacation in the Kuril Islands, but uh, we're back. Uh, the beer for tonight is a... Kentucky breakfast stout. So, oh, that's good. It's rather cold out as night uh, as well. It's about uh, 15 or 20 below outside right now. So hopefully my toes don't freeze. All right, but back to the mission. As we left off, the forces of EU NATO came in from the west out of uh, Slovenia. Austria came to the east and ran into a SAM trap. We have markage for the different aircraft wreckage, as you can see here. I have made this a no-fly zone. Since we don't know what's here, our, our intel is rather limited. We are getting radar information from the EU-NATO radar net on our west, north of Vienna, at, uh, what is this one? Well, there's a radar in southern Austria. And then we have another one over in Italy. Uh, Slovenia, or Slovakia rather, is not providing information just as of yet, but the potential is there. Uh, we have our different pilots that we have to pick up. Captain Chernovic, Pilsner, Sabic, Colonel Ave Belichek, Captain Wells Huber, Captain Polich, Commander Hans Goering, and Commander Puciak. We have to bring them to the Sopta pickup point, the Kakovec pickup point, and the Ludbreg pickup point. When they arrive, we have helicopters that will depart from the forward operating base, uh, forward operating base St. Michael. Who is going to be picking them up, you say? Well, the Hoxha rally aficionados in a variety of rally cars, Dakar rally trucks, motorbikes, all kinds of goodies. So, coming out of, uh, for hired goons aircraft, uh, one out of Ljubljana Jose Puchnik Airport, we are going to have a fueler. We are going to have Boner Bus in the VC-10. This makes things a lot easier and cuts down on uh, if there's wait time. Otherwise, we're sending planes up and back and forth, and uh, I tend to screw that up. So... As far as planes, we are going to have four A6E intruders. I believe this will be the maiden fight, maiden flight for our intruders. We have Hot Pants, Drunken Scoper, Kelpie and DSM, Pipeline and Splode, and Renaissance Spam and Badger. They are going to be rocking with the AGM 123A Skipper 2 rocket powered bombs. Come on, is that not just an awesome idea? We will also have some tornadoes. We are going to have coffee, fish, a sandwich, dandy, and buzzkill, rock, and alarms. And then as backup, we're going to have Lamora and God and Mojangle and Swam. We are going to have Windmill, who is going to be operating as OE OECM support and also our signal intelligence. We will have four Grippins, Back and Fungus, Ghost Sight and Lancer, Greenhorn Handlebar, and Mazda and Blue Tick. Running Meteors. Medium intercept, four meteors apiece. As backup close air support, we are going to have our floggers. Everybody loves a make. Power thighs and tourist rocking the Cab 500 TV bomb. Look at that thing. Isn't that thing awesome? Yeah. There's a range of uh, two nautical miles. Better get close. And finally, as a uh, complete and total backup, for air superiority, we have a pair of our Eagle AGFs, McGibby and Hateball and Snake Shit and Johnny Five. 
They will remain on standby unless needed. And at that, we're going to get the ball rolling. First thing that's going to happen, we're going to have our fueler is going to take off. Going to get up in the air and run a tra racetrack. Pretty much everybody is going to attempt to hang out in the VISA area here. Uh, the goal is to remain out of unknown territory. See what happens. As always, there is a variety of things that can happen so that this is interesting for me. One of the big ones I've been playing with is a randomized location. So certain things may occur. When those things occur, I don't know where they're going to happen. They're going to happen within a certain zone. It might happen here. It might happen over there. That'll make it interesting because certain things might happen at the same time. So as these things occur, we might have to deal with a couple things at once. Uh, we'll try to aim for a little bit shorter mission this evening. I think this will be a lot of fun. So uh, let's get rolling. Hopefully you guys don't mind the fact that uh, this isn't live streamed. We might go back into it again in the future. But for now, while I get my uh, feet wet, planes wet, well, you know what I mean. We'll just run with this. It is going to be cool to see what these intruders do. Very cool indeed. You'll also probably notice that you don't see the message log. The message log provides a lot of information and sometimes too much information. So, for example, it might tell you exactly the weapon that somebody's using or how you intercepted or you didn't intercept or something that's happened somewhere else. This is a big theater of operation. We have a Kex Komet Air Base. We've got some known OECM stations. We've got Zagreb. We've got Pula. Down south, we've got uh, where we had some contacts here. Mycroft Homes, our good friend with the Black Blockers, the Albanian Black Blockers. Uh, he's probably going to suffer liver failure here. We've got a lot of uh, commercial traffic. We've got uh, Commodore Gray's Tokyo Bay Fortress. Gray Hunter is still stuck on the beach. He'll be off soon, though. The tugs had to, uh, they brought in vacuum dredges, and they are sucking it out, and hopefully that's going to get us where we want to go. If not, well, let's leave it on the beach and let people stay there. I think they do that with boats these days. All right, I'm going to take up the time compression a little bit so we can get this going. And we'll see what ends up in the air first. If there's anything worth looking at in the message log, by the way, I'll slide it over so you guys can get a look. Uh, one advantage of me popping it out is I can't clear it. All right. Uh, first thing up, we have, oh, I will turn off the OECM. We have Windmill in the Prowler and Boner Bus in the VC-10K4 Tanker, who has a ridiculous amount of flight time. Both of these fine folks will be gaining some altitude, uh, running some windmills, going to be running back and forth. Fuel line is going to be going between uh, St. Michael and Aerodrome Maribor. Our radars will be, I should be, everybody's friendly, so we should be getting uh, information as things are picked up. I'm not terribly familiar with the RAT 31DL radar. Uh, it's fairly modern, 20, 2004, Austria. All right, uh, let's see. Windmill has first contact. This will get better as time goes. All right, I got better sooner than I thought. Sam Battery in Acash. Uh, looks like we got a few more. These things. On their own, I don't think they're terribly dangerous, but now that Romarm is 3D printing them, it's turning into quite a plethora of dangerous stuff. All right, as Windmill getting us signal intelligence, we have uh, Tunguska's SA-19 Grissoms, Indian Design, a caches. we have a Mobile Jammer, which is probably why we're not getting a really good fix on some of this stuff. We only have one reference point right now. Uh, I think when uh, some of our other birds get in the air, we're going to get a little bit better idea. The Grippins have a pretty good package on them. 
And hopefully once uh, windmill starts zooming around and gaining some altitude. It's at 15,000 feet right now, and this will just keep getting better. Another mobile. What do we got? Another Tunguska. Now, these are zones of uncertainty, and they may be larger than what we're seeing. As you guys remember, once EU NATO got on the other side of this line, that trap was sprung, and pretty much all those aircraft were wiped out. Yeah, we got lots of mobiles. We got some fixed. We got some mobiles. Let's see this. Another uh, ACASH battery. Got the jammers. Got a Grissom. This is why uh, we're staying a little bit to the west and hoping that the Enver Hoxa Rally aficionados can pull some of these fine folks out. In a couple of minutes, they are going to be scheduled to... Uh, Slide all this out. Um, another SAM battery down to the south. And there is a Shilka battery somewhere down by Pula. As you guys remember, the hostels had a backfire down at Pula before, which is now seems to be not present. So I think we did bad things to it. Right, some of these are pretty close to where our guys are. Uh, luckily, we're using civilians to move them out. Right now, things are kind of in flux. Uh, as you guys may or may not recall, Rome Arm did not have Hungary. They were Romania. And then they merged with Yugo Import, who covered a good point of Serbia and Croatia and Bosnia. So... Of course, our employer with Arsenal is down in Bulgaria, and the brother and sister team that headed up the group out of Hungary have gone missing. So while some of this is Rom Arm territory, they're still moving assets through to secure this border. And that is where our issue comes. As time goes on, this border will no longer be as porous, and there'll be a lot more difficult time getting these guys out. So it was now or never, so we decided with now. We have got, looks like they're learning. They've got Tunguskas for the Shorad and then the A-Caches for the Medium. I don't really think we've seen anything for a long-range SAM system, and it just might not be in their capabilities with the 3D printing stuff that they have. But hey, we're, uh, we're getting a lot of intelligence here. Lots and lots and lots of mobiles. All right, there is our first pop-up. 0900 Bugatti Convoy has picked up Captain Chernovix and is beginning to transit to the next location. Oh, look at that truck. That's awesome. At the same time, let me make sure here. Yep, our cap is now going to be taking off and they're going to be holding in an orbit point. Uh, they have a prosecution zone that covers pretty much everything on this side of the no-fly zone. No-fly zones are kind of weird because our Grippens will not engage things inside the no-fly zone unless something's changed. So we'll have to, I'll have to make sure this doesn't go poorly. Like that would ever happen, right? All right, so we have got more A-caches. We've got more Grissoms. We've got comms jammer, bunker. Tom's Jammer Station. We've got mobile jammers. We've got OECM stations. They got a lot of stuff. So that is uh, quite an impressive line of goodies. There is the there's a Romar Master T. It is a fairly capable radar. Know exactly where it's at. Uh, I clicked on somewhere in the mix here. We're getting a little bit better resolution. It looks like a lot of this stuff is kind of on that line there. Oh, and our cap is up. Cap this evening includes Gator Flight and Gambler Flight. Uh, rocking eight meteors apiece. Like I said, if we need them, we'll get another pair of eagles up. 
Uh, hopefully we don't. Hopefully all this goes nice and quiet. Uh, once they gain a little altitude, maybe we'll start getting a little more uh, information out of these guys as well to try to help ID some of our uh, contacts over in the east. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get, uh, yeah, we're getting information from all kinds of folks. Oh, and we've got another event. Nagasaki Convoy has picked up Colonel Abe Belichick huh, in a bug, VW bug. Look at that thing. That thing is awesome. That is good to see. So, yeah, we had one guy that was over here and one there. So the pickups are starting. It is good to see. Uh, what do we have for another one? We have a mobile contact report, another jammer, mobile jammer. The mobile jammer, uh, Russian, 2016. That's pretty modern. Pretty modern to be 3D printed. But we will have to see what keeps popping up. All right. Ooh, already jammed. It's going to be a tough one for our Grippens. That is a lot of jammers. All right, we are going to get um, we're going to get our intruders in the air and get them holding for the. Make sure that I got this correct. Um, we're going to go active on that mission and get our close air support in the air. Well, the radar coverage on the rat is, what do we have? 240 nautical miles. So that is going to give us some decent range. It should give us to the other side. But in order to get a really nice, happy firing plot, uh, Grippens are going to need theirs. We don't share targeting information with the uh, Allied radars. Yeah, look at all that goodness over there. Starting to get a pretty good location on some of it. We've got another ACASH battery to the southeast. Hopefully they'll be getting some of the other folks picked up here. Uh, we got mobiles, mobiles, mobiles. We've got another mobile, a Grissom, Tunguska. What we got there? Another ACASH battery. Jammers doing their thing, jamming. Oh, and it looks like Kawasaki Convoy has picked up Captain Pulich. Um, yep, he is gone. We now have four pilots remaining to be picked up. Uh, everything's looking pretty quiet here. That's good. Let us go check on, all right, these folks are going to be holding right there, so not far from the air base, running the, uh, the skippers. That thing is cool. 14 nautical mile, I mean, that's a pretty good range. So we've got the cover. We have not picked up anything beyond the SAM batteries and the jammers and the OECM. Which is kind of a good thing. Alright, more mobiles. Oh, who do we have here? Bomba Convoy has picked up Buciak. Alright. That's cool. Look at that. Look at that Audi. Nice. Well, we're making some progress here. We have uh, looks like four four pilots remaining. Oh, and we've got a bogey. What do we have here? Let's zoom in. We have got our rats have a good fix on a bogey. Sixteen thousand feet and ninety knots. That is rather ridiculously slow. That is beyond ridiculously slow. 
Uh, it is over that uh, area, so we're going to leave it there. We're getting a better fix. Our stuff should probably avoid that area pretty well. Uh, bogey if it gets close we'll kill it if it remains in that area we're going to leave it alone whatever's 90 knots is not something that's going to prove a big threat just yet radar's doing a good job fuel on the grippins we're looking at uh got two hours till bingo fuel Windmill looking four hours, our intruders roughly two hours as well. Just the one bogey at 90 knots. Kind of lost it for the time being. Could have gone into a radar shadow in the mountains here. We'll keep an eye on that. Hopefully you guys don't mind that I added a few extra assets. I just looked at it and I could have micromanaged it as was, but uh, made it a lot easier. Which means it's got a lot more chance of being successful. Right. So I actually went into Google Maps and plotted out what these times would be. So if a rally car really did have to race across Bulgaria, they should be pretty close to what the times they can make if there was no traffic. Or at least so Google tells me in here. Internet's never wrong. All right. Bogey is sliding aside. Looking good. Still four pilots remaining. Lots of gas. We got loiter. Yeah, we're as low as we're going to go speed wise on the Grippins. Windmill will continue to windmill a boat. Be interesting to see if uh, Romarm throws anything in the air other than the 90 knot wonder that we have. That'll get here about next Tuesday. And pretty good jamming on our. Well, Grippins are randomly jammed here and there, but we've seen worse. All right, I should be due for a pickup on one of these guys here pretty quick. I'll take the time up too much and miss something. Some of these uh, pop-ups occur rather quickly. All right, we got a pretty decent line on where the ACASH batteries are. Let's see what the bogey does. The very, very, very slow bogey. Strictly a radar contact. We have no elint on it. Come on, guys. Let's keep it moving. This is kind of the joy of the randomness that I have in this. Is, eh. Oh, here we go. Bugatti Convoy has picked up Captain Pilsner. Got a buddy carry going on there. Which Bugatti, last on the list, will be Lieutenant Sabic. Followed, uh, the other two only have, uh, I think Bomba only picks up one dude. Which leaves us with Captain Wells Huber and Commander Hans Goering, Goering and Lieutenant Sabic, 
almost right at soap to pick up point for whatever reason. Can't make it there on his own. But that's all right. That's what we have these fine folks for. Drone is still cruising 90 knots. A slight course change heading south, southeast, south, southwest. <clears throat> directly over the sand batteries. So I would assume whatever this is, it's friendly. Because if it wasn't, it'd be dead. Well, friendly to them, not to us. That's all right. Hopefully we'll get another pickup here in a minute before any trouble comes from over that away. Now that Jack is back, we've sicked him back on his uh, lobbying routes. He's actually in New York right now, in the UN. It seems that uh, all of this is stirring up a giant pot of worms. Soup, worm soup, whatever you want to call it. So he's going to try to protect our interest out there. Not really sure what's happening back yet. DT5 is attempting to transit into the area. Now they're going to look for some wreckage to see if they can get any more clues. Also get on the back side and see what they can find. All of this is proving rather challenging because Rome Arm Corporate is moving in a lot of uh, security assets. So if we're lucky, we'll get through it before the trouble really starts. And if we're not, well, Diamond Team 5. Oh, speaking of that, Bugatti has ran into a roadblock. It must be destroyed before they can proceed. Otherwise, they'll be caught. Yep, there's the Rome Arm Corporate Police. All right. First thing we will do uh, up here, we have got a mobile. We will set it host hostile. So we are going to make a separate strike mission. Actually, you know what? We are just going to take two of our intruders and move them. And see if we can get a strike. Leave them. Uh, leave the other two on a hold, and see what we can do. Now, eventually, people will start going for gas. That eh, probably shouldn't happen for a while. But as you guys know, people go for gas at the most inopportune moments. And it. Uh, Intruders are pretty cool. I don't, uh, yeah. The really nice thing about this thing is not only can it carry a ridiculous amount of bombs, but it can carry them a really, 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 really far away. So, for example, Mavericks has a 1,040 nautical mile strike radius. Some Harpoons, 740 nautical miles. Harms, 750. 20, ton, 20 kiloton nuclear strike, 1100. Not that we have one of those. It has Buddy Store. I mean, Laser Bomb. I mean, look at that, 950 nautical miles. That's just with a paveway. That's just ridiculous. Look at that thing. It's a 2,000 pound bomb. This thing's going to carry it 1,000 miles. That's awesome. We'll take it. All right, as it stands, we'll make sure that the skipper doesn't have a weird launch altitude. 10,000 feet to 65,000. We'll work that. Uh, we're going to keep it up a little bit in case there is any man pad. I don't want to suddenly drop down to 2,000 feet and have you guys eat some mid-1960s era Soviet leftover surplus man pad. It'd be embarrassing. Uh, the bogey is holding tight. Still going over the path here. There's the Master T just south of Kexkmet Air Base. All right, our mobile happens to be four cars. Quite a uh, roadblock if I've ever seen one. We are going to start with uh, Ren Spam, Renaissance Spam, and Badger. They are going to do the uh, first shooting. 
We'll have him shoot all the skippers. If for some reason he misses, they miss, then Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper will uh, drop a few rounds as well. Almost up to 35,000 feet. Still got the 90 knot wonder. Luckily, nothing too terrible there. Now, there's a lot of terrain we could be using. I guess we could get all crazy and go up here, but seeing as we really don't have any air threats and nothing, uh, nothing that I'm seeing, we're just not going to worry about it. If there was bad people doing angry things, well, it'd be like perfect route for the F-117s. But as it stands, move these guys in a little bit. See if we can get some of these. Uh... Oh, got a re report from the maintenance guys that... Uh... One of our 3D printed planes suffered a uh, failure in the comm device unit. Huh. Well, those things happen. A lot of maintenance reports on those 3D printed planes. Even more so than a regular plane. Looks like uh, I'm actually getting some information uh, from our intruders. That's cool. Usually the uh, usually windmill and the Grippins have kind of been the heroes there. Everybody is moving into range. Let's see if we can get some of these guys going. It's flat territory. We'll have to see if these launch through clouds. So we've got moderate high clouds, twenty-five to twenty-eight thousand feet. If for some reason it can't launch, then we will drop down in altitude. We might be too high. Ooh, unable to illuminate. All right, so we're gonna have to take it down to uh, I'm going to drop right down below the clouds. Same with Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper. See if these guys can uh, illuminate the target and get some uh, ordnance moving down. Oh, and they finally got a look. And we have got Illumination. One, two, three, uh, Rin Spam Badger. Looks like all four skippers are making their way to the target. Still lazing. One down. Let's see that. Two down. With one remaining. Oh, Bugatti Robot is clear. Look at that rally car continuing on. That's what we like to see. All right, at that, Ren Spam and Badger is going to be RTB. They are Winchester, no ordnance remaining. Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper still have four Skipper 2s. And we'll return back to close air support orbit point. As beyond that, the extra slow bogey is still holding. Uh, Bugatti is going to be in position to get Lieutenant Sabak here pretty quick. And then they'll move on to the soap to pick up point. Oh, look at that. Nagasaki has picked up Huber in a rather dilapidated Volkswagen. I wonder if there's more than one. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I think they're making good progress, and that's really about all that matters. Where does this leave us? We have Lieutenant Sabek and Commander Hans Gerhing. Gerhing. Gerhing, one of the two. Oh, and our Grippens are going to investigate the bogey, who is now strayed. Oh, no. What's this? A platoon of Oliphants. So right after they picked up Huber, a platoon of Oliphants have a trap 
And we have got three Oliphants. All right. Hot Pants, Drunken Scoper. You are going to the rescue. We are going to get Skippers, see if they can knock out some tanks. If they can't, we will get the, uh, the Tornadoes launched with the Brimstones. All right. Our Grippins are all engaged defensive. Moving at Mach 1.6. Somebody's buying some new windows. At the same, same time, Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper are going in on an armored troop of Oliphants. Three of them. All right. We should have a meteor away here shortly. We know this isn't friendly, so we're going to shoot it. We're going to let them shoot it. Once they get into good kinematic range, uh, if they get too close to this line, I'm going to pull them back. Oh, and we have got Meteor away. I don't know if the Acaches will attempt to engage. I don't think they will. It looked like Gator Flight, uh, Greenhorn Handlebar, Mazda Blue Tick. They are all jammed. Uh, hopefully they can keep a good lock on it. Uh, we've got some new bogeys, new bogey contacts off to the east. Mach 1.6 as well, 36,000 feet. Let us see what we can see. And Meteor Cross scored a kill. All right. It looks like Gator Flight and Gambler Flight are going to return to position. Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper. Uh, we've still got bogeys inbound. We will see what uh, Hot Pants and Drunken Scoper can get done here. And boogie back. If not, we will get uh, the brimstones. All right, we have got targets lazed. One, two, three. Three skippers away. And what will it be? Oh, four skippers away, just in case one misses. Target is lazed. One, two. Oh, that is three hits. One remains. All right. Um... All right, we are going to make a strike mission. And this looks like a perfect opportunity for one of our MiGs to get up. And we will assign a single aircraft. Go back to Maribor. We will assign them. Strike the tank. Hopefully it's... Uh, We'll get there in time. The one downside of the intruders is there's no guns. Rent spam and badger is dry. It would take pretty much just as long. I don't want to lose our uh, skippers. That may be a perfect one. And as far as things goes, it is a little more expendable. Bogies are now 480 knots. Uh, they have dropped down speed significantly. Those Oliphants are looking fairly well wrecked. If they stray close, uh, we already know there's nothing but bad people that come out of that area. So we're going to set them hostile. Our Grippins. Oh! Grippins are going for gas. Because that's how these things work. Nobody needs gas when nothing's happening, but every need, everybody does need gas when nothing is. Um, the power thighs is now... All right, Bugatti Convoy got Lieutenant Sobek. Hey, look at that. They're getting kind of full in that car, so they're putting them in the trunk. That's all right. 
this will be a little interesting. Power thighs. What do we got? We got bogeys, 480 knots, 480 knots, 36,000 feet. Power thighs. Uh, we're going to crank it up. We're going to go up to afterburner. Looks like nap of the earth, 3,000 feet above sea level. We have on our bogeys. We've got no emissions as of yet for either one. Hopefully our uh, gambler flight is filling up first. Right, we're going to see what the minimum range or minimum altitude 10,000 feet, so we're going to have to pop up with power thighs. Oh, and the bogeys went back to the east. I think we dodged a bullet on that one. Luckily, power thighs is flying nap of the earth. That's got to be helping for detection. Bogeys might be on an intercept. This is going to be close. Um, Everybody's slowly fueling back up. Power thighs. Let's get you back on the ground again. We've got two bogeys. Still no contact. All right. We are going to take gator flight. See if gator flight can... Uh, yeah. This is going to be tough. We got a pair of bogeys doing an intercept. Got power thighs going in. Is going to have to jump up. What do we got? Gator flight still refueling. Ah, oh, come on, guys. I don't even know what these are. We have no information as of yet. Power thighs is going in. At the same time, it appears that Boner Bus is heading to the east. Uh, Going to allow these guys. I wonder if they can fire while they're refueling. Looks like Back and Fungus are going to be the first ones there. Oh! Uh, one of them is gone. Um, okay. Fighter, 520 knots. It is going to be... Uh, it had a missile, but the unit itself is gone. Missile is gone. Um, all right, power thighs. Didn't have to gain some altitude. I don't know what happened. So the hostiles disappeared. We'll see if power thighs can fire here. He's engaged offensive. Oh, he suffered a failure in the mount unit. I don't even know what that means. Looks like everything's working. Uh, hopefully he can spin around and fire. All right, we have got a missile away couple of them. Oh, and the Oliphant Tramp has been destroyed. That's what we like to see. All right, at that, Power Thighs is going to be RTB. Ah, uh, boy, that's great. I mean, we had two incoming bogeys, and they are both gone. I don't know what to say. Uh, our Grippens are nearly topped off. We've got Kelpie DSM. And pipeline and explode still holding position. One more MIG available. Uh, power thighs and that extra sexy MIG 27 Flogger J will be returning to base. Uh, don't really know what to call that. It looks like our Cab 500 suffered uh, one malfunction. But the other one took care of the hostel. And we are just about to be filled back up. Beyond that, everything's looking pretty good. Uh, as soon as our last guys are picked up, 
Oh yeah, there's Bugatti Convoy. They are. Uh, we have an extraction point marker right near the Sopta pickup point. We have one uh, pilot remaining, Co Commander Hans Gerhain. And it looks like everybody is just about done to be getting fuel. All right, that looks like it. Boner bus will be returning to position. Be following the fuel track. Yeah, beyond that, uh, once these cars get in, we'll start getting the choppers loaded and moving over. Oh, Kawasaki Convoy picks up Commander Gurin. All right. That has got to be a crazy ride. That is all of our pilots picked up. Everybody is making their way. Bugatti Convoy has arrived. We're going to wait for the others. We'll get the helicopters moving at that point. We have one of the uh, helicopters who managed to save from uh, our Dutch friends that are now sitting on the bottom. Beyond that, it's EU NATO NH-90s. And they are almost done refueling. And I think that's it. Looks like Boner Bus and the rest of the crew are going to be heading back. Orbit points will be maintained. Windmill is still moving about. Hopefully they're seeing as much difficult as we are. Just waiting for uh, Bomba, Nagasaki, and Kawasaki convoys to arrive at their pickup points. Almost. I do think we're doing pretty well, given the wall of uh, SAMs that we have over here. And I guess there could be SAMs behind it that we haven't seen if they had any long-range SAMs. So it makes a uh, tricky nut to crack on that, especially with the jammers, OECM, and the fact that we can't use our GPS bombs in this area either with that weirdo jamming system that they have. All right, it looks like Kelpie DSM and Pipeline and Sploat are all heading for gas. Uh, tourist has suffered a failure in his sensor unit. All right, where does that leave us? Um, still says he's ready to go. Must not be a critical failure. Power thighs heading in for a landing. Gator flight moving in. All is still looking pretty good. Boner bus, uh, 10 hours still bingo. A lot of gas left. We'll be uh, serving the intruders here in a moment. We might have to redirect Diamond Team 5 to figure out what, uh, what happened to those two bogeys that were coming in. And just poof, they were gone. We didn't see any SAMs either, so I don't know what uh, what happened. We are making good time, I know that. We should have uh, more units here shortly. We'll start getting everybody picked up. Hey, pretty good beer. They do a backwoods bastard. That's a uh, really good stout as well. Not that I'm shilling for founders here or anything, but it's just good beer. I have to say our Grippens have been uh, definitely the star of the show. Those meteors are impressive. I mean, if anything we've had between that and the small diameter bombs, I mean, those things are pretty well wicked. Still holding course. 
Looks like a boner bus is filling up these folks. Um, and in the air for an hour and eight minutes. Oh, Nagasaki convoy has arrived and yet another Volkswagen. It looks like it is getting air. How fitting. All right, Nagasaki convoy. Oh, Bomba convoy is suddenly chased by her rival, Marietta Andretti. Destroy the rival or she'll run the car off the road. All right. We have got... Uh, Oh, we got guys getting gas. Let us see who is available. All right, our two skipper or two intruders are down. We have got a MIG, or we have got um, we've got tornadoes. You know what? We are going to launch our tornadoes. Pixar's flight. Uh, what do we got here? Right now, that is listed as a support mission. We're going to get these guys in the air. We have got the uh, coffee and fish sandwich, Dandy Buzzkill, Lamora and God, and Bojangle and Swam. This is a moving target, which makes it a little more challenging. There are certain ordnance here that don't like moving targets. We always good carpet bomb it or napalm it. Cluster bomb it. Keep the war crimes lobby happy. All right. Grippens are still holding. All is quiet. Nagasaki is in position, as is Bugatti. We want Bomba to get in, though. We need to knock out this car. Must be quite a race at 15 knots. One car, that's it. All right, we have got uh, Lamar and God with brimstones. We're going to put everybody above one of our pickup points. The brimstones should just be in range to pick that thing off without getting overly crazy. I don't want anybody to go straying into naughty land. As we know what happens when tornadoes dance with Sam's. You guys yell at me. All right, I'm going to change up this mission point. Uh, 4,006. Oh, crap. There, once they reach that point, they're going to orbit over our... Pickup points in the south. All right. Lamora and God are going to get one brimstone. Brimstone is a cool looking little missile. We have a weight on there. How much explosives does it have? 17 pounds. 17.6. 8 kilos. All right. We should have... Uh... Oh, wait. That is, uh... that is the alarms. I am going to have to get Lamora and God a little bit closer. Do we have a ceiling that we can use? 200 to 65,000 feet. All right, we can go wherever the hell we want. Get everybody else. Lamora and God uh, also has a pair of Iris T's. However, things are looking pretty quiet on the bogey front. Yeah, we don't have anything new. All right. The rally car is moving 15 knots. Lamora and God. As soon as we get uh, Brimstone away, we'll retreat back to the support point. I think then all of our convoys 
damn close. Got Nagasaki holding at the Kukovic pick a point. Lamora in God is about to do God's work. And yep, we have got Brimstone away. Let's see what we can do here. Nothing else on the screen. Brimstone is going in. 800. Oh, it is seeking. 820 knots. Losing altitude. And oh, Marietta Andretti creams off the road and crashes into the trees. Bomba convoy continues on. That's good shit. That's what we like around here. It is unfortunate there is no errant targets for our brimstones to go careening into. Comedy on that is quite wonderful. Take what we can get, though. All right, we are waiting Bamba to arrive and Kawasaki to arrive. Bugatti and Nagasaki are both in position. Our tornadoes are holding position as well. Kelpie, DSM, windmill, pipeline, and explode. Boner bus in the north. We'll get the uh, NH-90s out here as soon as our other two convoys arrive. It should be a profitable operation. Oh, dear, what's this? Kawasaki convoy comes around a corner, comes face-to-face -face with an A-cash battery. They are directed to an Arby's parking lot, but it's only a matter of time until the guards finish lunch and realize who's in the car. Oh, shit. All right. We have got alarms. And why can't they fire? All right, uh, let's see what we can do. We're going to try to get some from uh, Mojangle and Swam. Oops, don't want to go in for a Mauser run. We are going to allocate all of them. and see what we can do as far as... Uh, Getting some alarms on there as well. There we go. No threat emitters are currently... Uh, they are not firing anything yet. All right, we're going to have to get uh, coffee and fish sandwich a little bit closer here. All right, power thighs suffered a failure in the mount unit. It's getting to be embarrassing with these 3D printing... Uh... All right, if it's not emitting... Let's see, maybe we can, uh, Lamora and God, who did I send to go shoot at that thing? Coffee and fish sandwich? No. Lamora and God, is that who I sent? Anyone? Mojangle and Swam. There we go. All right, Mojangle and Swam. Gonna drop you down to low altitude. The brimstones, 200 feet, they do not care. We actually might have a little cover there. So we're going to drop down to 201 feet. If this thing isn't emitting, I think it might be able to piggyback missions. Okay, we says we got some. Let's see if we can fire yet. It does not appear so. Uh, no, it appears that it's modulating what it's dropping. All right, we have a new bogey as well. Two no bogeys. 480 knots, 36,000 feet. Coming from, oh no, not Kex Comet. This time our Grippins have plenty of gas. 
Mojangle and Swam are going to be going in 200 feet above ground level. Oh, we have Sam's away. Lots and lots and lots of Sam's. Mojangle and Swam is making a turn. Got four brimstones. Engage defensive. Ooh, lots of Sam's. All right, Mojangle and Swam has... Uh, all right, they are attempting to engage. Let's see if we can get Mojangle and Swam. There is a lot of Sam's. All right, this thing's got to be emitting now. Let's see. Uh, outside bore limit. All right, as soon as coffee and fish sandwich. Oh, and we must have done some damage to it. All right, the convoy was able to continue. All right, we still have some uh, alarms headed there. Mojangle and Swam. All right. Radars in these things are fairly fragile. Let's see what our alarm will do if it... That should knock out any radar that remain. Oh, they launched the uh, other two alarms as well. And what do we have for a contact report? 27 seconds ago, we had radar emissions. Uh, let's see if the other two hit anything. Going in. Still have two A cachers remaining, but at this point, I don't know if they continue to be a threat. Both the alarms have detonated. Um, three minutes, we have no more radar coming off that. We're going to call that no longer of interest. Coffee and fish sandwich, RTB. Only thing remaining is some uh, iris teas. Kelpie and DSM is still holding. Still have the bogeys. All right, we're going to take... Uh, Move these guys back to a different support point here. 3981. No reason for the tornadoes to be hanging out up front. Let's see what our bogeys are doing. 480 knots, 36,000 feet. Once they cross this line... Set them hostile, and our Grippens will prosecute and engage. <sighs> but it's good beer. Boner bus is still holding position. One bogey, two bogey, red bogey, green bogey. Bogies have cleared the line. We have got gambler flight. Gator flight. Bogies uh, appear to be moving on an intercept. We still, what do we have for a contact report? Nothing. Uh, bogey a fighter that is about all we know. Skyward G must be the in flight camera. Oh, SU-27P, flanker. That's good information. What do we know about it? Which one am I looking at here? Where did that other flanker go? Oh, we got one fighter. We'll assume it's an SU-27. It is moving vaguely to the north. Oh, MiG-21 fish bed, Lancer C. <coughs> it's going to eat a meteor in a moment here. The meteor is inbound. MiG is turning nose, gaining speed. Oh, Bomba arrives at the rendezvous. I believe this leaves us with Kawasaki when they arrive. Uh, the MiG's gone. 
Right. Oh, there's our flanker. With the MiG-21, we also have an Su-27P flanker B. The MiG is dead. Um, the meteor is going in on the flanker. Is diving, losing altitude, gaining speed. Is it enough? It is. Spoofed at the last moment. And the Grippens are going for gas. Because that's what Grippens do. They have gas tanks like the bladder and a Boston Terrier. All right. Um, huh. Well, all right. We should, uh, what are we waiting for? Kawasaki? Yes, we're waiting for Kawasaki. Um, we've lost contact on that flanker. Once Kawasaki arrives, then we'll get the helos up in the air. Yeah, we got Bamba, Nagasaki, and Bugatti. We got one more. Make sure I'm not forgetting them here. Hmm. Definitely weird. All right, let's see. Hopefully, if I don't see something in a minute here, I'll make sure that my triggers went off and I didn't screw something up. But I think we're still on track. Other than the Grippens have a ridiculously tiny gas tank, uh, they really do pretty well. I guess I don't know if I can. I mean, they have an hour and 43 minutes flight time. Well, this is the second time they've gone to get gas. Not that it's terrible, just not quite as awesome as we'd like. All right, we'll give it a few more minutes here and I'll check my trigger to make sure it fired. Some of our damaged units from the uh, the strike on Jader are just becoming available now. It's one of the things you miss in my little window on the side here. I don't want to show you guys my super secret trigger list. I don't want to give too many things away. I got little hints and breadcrumbs. Probably should have wrote down the times, but uh, we'll give it another minute here. It's got to be happening soon. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. One of my triggers must not have uh, fired correctly because Kawasaki Convoy was not captured by the battery guards because the battery was damaged. So that was me not making my script properly. So. Uh, assume Nagasaki is here. We're going to move the helos in. Sorry about that. These things happen. So we will now be launching our helos. By the time they are in position, the Gripen should be ready to go. It'll be pretty easy. We move the helos in, drop it down. They pick up our friends. We bring them back. Everybody's happy. Should be up with our helos in a minute. Make sure I'm not forgetting anybody. Everybody is ready. We have one, uh, one NH-90 in reserve. Interestingly enough, uh, EU NATO has moved in some uh, German Tigers. Notice these on the tarmac. Be interesting to figure out how many of them are flight worthy. I know the EU NATO air forces are still scrambling to get themselves into position.
All right. Champion number two heading to Sopta. Champion number one. Sure, I got everybody here. All right, I think that is all of our helicopters. Comically enough, it gave the same flight name to our helicopters going in. All right, so we're going to have two helicopters heading to each point. Oh, we have our third one. I thought we had three. And that'll go as backup as well. NH-90s are moving in. First pickup probably going to be bugatti uh, windmill what does windmill see contact report uh grissom stinguskas for whatever reason did he just have to get gas and now he's picking stuff up again because we're picking up stuff we have but either way take up time compression a little bit until we see anything of interest Uh, bogeys, of course. Slow down time and see where is our cap at. Uh, everybody is full up. This will probably work pretty well. Our bogeys, uh, we have contact report. It looks like we've got more flankers. They are radar active this time through. Uh, also a slot back radar. Is that all we got? Two bogeys? Yes. Uh, yep, we know they're fighters. Thank you, Windmill. Uh, we have another bogey. Let's see what we got. Another slot back radar, so that's another flanker. So that is going to keep us at three, three flankers. I'm going to manually mark all these guys hostile. Kilos are almost in position. Oh yeah, windmill is going for gas, hence why he's picking this stuff up. All right, when champion arrives, champion number two, or champion number two. All right, we have another bogey. Contact report. Whoa! We have a J-10A, Vigorous Dragon, Chinese Air Force. This is a KLJ-3 radar. All right. Um, that is new to this theater. Shit is on like Donkey Kong, let me tell you. Gambler flight. Six meteors remaining. Gator flight also six. Oh, Gator flight, eight meteors remaining. They are now engaged defensive. On Plata Isle, as our zones of uncertainty grow and shrink, these people will go in and out. All right, we have some kilos to drop into place as well. So as long as these guys remain on the side of the line, our Grippins will ignore them. Once they get on the other side of the line, though, the Grippins will engage. All right. First is going to be champion number two. Going to go down for Bugatti Convoy. Is going to go to minimum altitude and a hover and hover. Bugatti convoy has been recovered. That is an RTB for the first group. Hostiles are inbound to our helos. 
Rippins will go engage defensive in a moment. We have three more NH90s to the south. All right, we are going to take and get our F-15s in the air. Uh, we'll add them to our cap. Uh, why'd that happen? Message log. No. There we go. Clean that noise up for you guys a little bit. All right. Hostiles have now. All right. Both of our NH-90s are going as fast as they can. It appears to be 151 knots. We first have, looks like flankers. And our Grippins are going to be going in. We've got hostiles behind it. We've got uh, see if we can get uh, some of our Grippins to go after these Chinese J-10 Vigorous Dragons. All right, first two meteors away on uh, the flankers. We are going to have some more meteors going after the Chinese here in a moment. Hindra flight. Looks like back and fungus. All right, they have fired on the J-10s. And let's see. One down. Uh, looks like one survived. Chinese have a pair of meteors going at them. Oh. Uh, all right. One Chinese was hit. Other one survived. We've got one more meteor. I'm going autonomous. I don't know if it's going to be able to get in there or not. Meteor is going after that vigorous dragon. Or is it? Or is it dead? Oh, there it goes. And no, it's a miss. Uh, we have got one more bogey. That is a MiG-21 fish bed. Uh, okay, the vigorous dragon is down. Uh, MiG-21 disappeared. Right. Um, all right, we've got the Eagles in the air holding position. Uh, we've got one inbound fighter. No emissions. All right, we have everybody going engaged, including McGibby Hateball, Snake Shit Johnny Five, Back and Fungus are RTB. They are out of meteors. Two irises remaining. All right, that's an SU twenty seven flanker. This is the last bogey we have eyes on. Uh, as soon as this bogey is taken care of, we will get the uh, the helos down for the pickup. Flanker is running, gaining speed. Oh, and it survives. These flankers are not silver bullets, just or meteors rather, just pretty close. All right, it has missiles away. Uh, skunk. I don't know what the missiles are shooting at though. There's nothing. Nothing there. All right. Uh, flanker is down. All right. Missiles are flying towards middle of nowhere. We are going to drop champion number one down, pick up Nagasaki convoy. And we'll also retcon this and say both convoys are going to get picked up.
My trigger didn't fire right. It's my fault. All right, go to a hover. And Nagasaki Convoy has been picked up. Champion number one return to base. The other champion number one is going to pick up Bomba Convoy. Not Bombay, I screwed that one up. Do a little nap of the earth here, drop altitude. Champion number three, RTB. All right, champion number one is in place, dropping to a hover. Bomba convoy has been picked up. That will bring champion number one. All of our convoys have been picked up. All aircraft are in the air. Uh, scooters suffered a failure, 3D print failure. All right, this is... Uh, Bugatti Flight has landed and is safe. All right, 3D print plane failure. Pilot White Glove and sponsored by Vitamin Water has suffered a failure in the sensor unit. These 3D printed planes are proving troublesome. They do a lot of great things, but man, this is getting to be kind of ridiculous. We're not even using these things right now. And champion number one is down. Champion number three is down. The other champion number one will be landing any moment. And at that, that is all pilots rescued. We are going to clear the skies of all of our aircraft. Get everybody back, and when everybody is on the ground, we will call this mission success. We will meet up with Diamond Team 5 once they have an opportunity to return from the area of operations. Let's see what we can find. Give you guys one last good look here at the, uh, the wreckage field and all the A-cache batteries and grissoms that inhabit it. All right. There it is, hired goons. Operation C Bugatti went off pretty well. Had an opportunity there to get kind of nasty. One little mistake on my script. But otherwise, we get a bunch of uh, EU NATO pilots back. So hats off to Corvalant. And back to you, hired goons.